Hey guys, this is uh, Jacques from Kulu Linux. Today I'm going to do a short little overview of the upcoming release of uh, the XFCE series. It's part of the 10 series release. Uh, we've already released Aero, the Aero edition. Uh, the focus is now on the XFCE edition. Well, editions, I say editions because it will feature both a 32-bit and 64-bit edition. They will be very similar uh, with some minor differences. Obviously the architecture is different and uh, some other subtle differences. 32-bit uh, um, has built-in Compass support while 64-bit does not. I'd say that's the major difference between the two. Anyway, so uh, if we have a look at this um, you'll see that this is based on kernel 4.2.0-19 currently. Okay, so it's running on a fairly, fairly new kernel. This is the 32-bit uh, I'm showing here. 64-bit, um, much of what I show you today will apply to the 64-bit as well. You'll notice that I try to keep, uh, with the 10 series, I try to keep the layout uh, the same as the predecessor. Um, you know, with the dual menus, the icons, the, the, the shortcuts, um, the favorites on the left, and the system icons on the right, with the clock, the wallpaper that has the quotes, and the clock on the desktop. Desktop icons, um, the whisker menu on the left, the uh, synapse menu on the right. I try to keep everything um, as standard as possible for the guys that are coming from XFCE 7 or 8 or 9. You know, they'll, they'll feel right at home here, yeah, and uh, that was my aim. Um, however, there are some changes. Firstly, you'll probably notice that the icon set is different to the previous one that we used. And um, I felt there was just a, a need for change. You know, we're using a completely new base with the Aero Edition. Um, XFCE is built on the same base, so it has the same uh, features, same enhancements, so same speed increases, um, same stability, and you know everything else that comes with that nice base. But um, I felt that you know the website had a nice new overall new look. Um, I wanted the, the additions to, to have a new look as well, you know, something that kind of stands out. Um, and uh, I found um, the Moki icon set very, very nice. So, of course, I've, I've done my own, uh, own sort of take on it. You know, you'll see many new icons in it. And um, so I've enhanced it a little bit. Um, originally, I think it was the Moki Pardis or something like that uh, icon set. Anyway, um, so this is this has been basically McLoonized, um, and it's a very beautiful icon set. Really, really stunning. I really love the colors. I love how the icon set really actually lives up up to its name. It it, it does have a very sort of Moki flow to it. Um, and like I said, it's very colorful, especially on, on darker themes. Uh, on light themes as well, I just, I, I kind of, you know, I've always been sort of a more more dark themed person. But uh, as you can see, there's a there's a completely new icon set. Um, makes, makes the edition look very, very beautiful. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous desktop. Um, of course, with the uh, wallpaper changer being so easy, you can easily swap between wallpapers, you know, really nice. You get some really, really great wallpapers with this new edition. Um, you know, uh, it's everything's just about new, you know. Um, yet I've kept the the same kind of familiar look and feel to to the desktop environment. So that the old the, the guys coming over, like I said, you know, they'll they'll just jump right in and, and sort of feel at home. Um, most of the apps installed are pretty much the same as what you'll get on any standard Makulu release. Steam Play on Linux is in there. Uh, you get Mahjong and and uh, Solitaire and Sudoku. 
um, graphics, my paint, Pinter, Nomax, uh, Image Magic, um, Internet, Google Chrome, um, Pigeon, Skype. Um, under multimedia, you'll get VLC Media Player. The 64 bit edition has Balmy instead of VLC. Uh, I really like Balmy and I really prefer Balmy. It, it just feels to me like there's so much more features and options than VLC. However, the 32 bit edition is built to sort of be a little bit lighter on resources than 64 bit, and Balmy is more resource heavy. So, Balmy is included in the 64 bit but not in the 32-bit. VLC takes preference there. Um, Audacious, obviously, it's a nice uh, media player, but it's light on resources, which is great. Uh, great. You've got the WPS Office Suite, Evolution, Mail, Document Viewer. Um, you've got Boot Repair, Bleach, but you've got a Driver Manager, g Parted, Grub Customizer, um, Software Manager, Software Sources, Synaptic Package Manager, a System Monitor, um, unit boot and you know uh, all of the standard stuff that you find in pretty much um, any XFCE version prior to this one I've tried to keep the software as standard as possible I don't want too much of a change it especially on the software side you don't want the guys coming over and going like where's my favorite app that I used to use that you always had and now it's gone you know you, you really don't want to answer those questions so I've tried to keep most of that as standard as possible um, you will notice, however, there is a lot of themes here, and quite a few new ones as well. So there's plenty of themes to choose from. Um, I'll run through a couple of these. Uh, um, as you can see, the icon set really looks great on any environment. I mean, there, there are guys that will prefer the lighter backgrounds, and guys that will uh, the lighter themes, and guys that will prefer the darker themes. But you have themes of almost all different colors and styles, and so you can really, really customize the look and feel that, that you prefer. And um, you know, the guys that 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 uh, prefer the old look, the 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 original look from I think XFCE nine, eight, seven, and so forth. They can easily switch to the old buff icon set. I've left it in there uh, for the guys that kind of, you know, they prefer the old look. Just one or two clicks and you've got your old look back. But uh, the guys that really like the new icon sets, um, it will come out default with this icon set. Um, I'm not quite sure. The theme isn't dead set yet. So the team might change quite a bit. You know, we're still in betas, um, so a lot changes in betas. Uh, for the time being, um, this theme and icon set is what we're currently using. So who knows? This might be the one that it comes out with. We might change to a different theme. The icon set, however, is uh, you know I've had a lot of nice feedback about it. People seem to love it. It's nice and colourful, and. Uh, easy on the eyes as well and it's it's very stylish you know it's kind of a little bit more modern which is what I was looking for so um, as you notice the editions very snappy you know uh, it runs at full speed this is in virtual box so speed is not a problem um, it's very fast of course the 32-bit guys can enable compass where once again uh, where once again I've kept everything as standard as possible I've done a little bit of tuning up on the theme you'll notice it's much more smoother um, kind of you know I don't know how to explain this there used to be like a little blue border over here there used to be a little white border at the top I've removed both to sort of make, make it a little bit more clear so that you actually have this layer just lying on top of the other layer without any kind of board or bridge between the two you know so it's, it really does have a really nice look especially with your transparent uh, bottom panel and then of course the complete transparent border right around the screen it really does does look awesome uh, um, there's gonna be a couple of new themes as well in your uh, emerald you know so um, 
that's that's something else to look forward to. That I'll probably show off at a later stage. Uh, for now, though, the 32-bit version. <coughs> had a bit of flu. The 32-bit version does have full compass support out of the box. So you've got your you've got your cube fully functional. You've got the unfolded cube with reflections. Um, you've got the cylinder cylinder which you can actually sort of drag on the side of the screen um, you know so it's got four virtual desktops that are set up it's got the bouncy effects and stuff all working so compass working out of the box this is inside virtual box so you can imagine the speed on actual hardware as you can see there's no problem really on virtual box except sorry when I tile it like I did now there we go, sorry. Um, I should actually turn tiling off. Um, but anyway, um, it's the, the system, the speed is very snappy. It runs on about, uh, roughly about 280 megs of RAM at the moment. With Compass enabled, it usually takes about 20 or 30 megs more. So it usually shoots up to about 300, 310 with Compass enabled. Uh, I'll probably still optimize that a little bit more, but uh, it's really not bad considering uh, what's in the system and what you all get with it. Um, you have full file system support for pretty much almost every file system out there, same as Aero Edition. You also have um, full driver support, uh, language packs, I think there's also about 350, 360 language packs pre-installed. So you can kind of just switch to any language uh, without a problem. Don't even need the internet connection. So anybody coming from any other um, language, you can just kind of just you know apply and reboot, and uh, your language is fully supported. You can actually see in the windows the buttons as well. Very colorful. I really really like this icon set. Um, so I've kind of been working on it. Yeah, there's a couple of icons. Anybody that kind of knows this icon set will probably have noticed there's a few that they don't recognize. Those are new icons that I've put in. And I'll continue probably putting uh, new icons in as well, changing them as I go. Because there are a few that are sort of outdated, that kind of look a little old, or they don't really fit the... You know, I kind of think these guys that made this, it was kind of still work in progress, so it wasn't finished. Um, so I'm just kind of finishing it for them. But it is a very beautiful icon set and uh, the theme that I've chosen here just runs so well with it. Um, but anyway, so this is XFCE. Um, the XFC version is 4.12 with Thunar's 1.6.10. I may update that a little bit more at some stage. Uh, at this point in time, it's running well, it's running stable. Uh, it's built on the same base that Aero Edition was built on, so no problems there. Um, it comes with firewall, comes with antivirus built in. Um, just all options are go. Um, you can pretty much even mount a USB uh, or mount a digital camera. It's got digital camera support. Uh, it will import your photos. You can mount your plug in your phone. Um, there's a lot of work that's been done on this already, so. Uh, great support out of the box, you know. Um, like I said as well, you'll get it in both 32 and 64 4-bit editions. So really awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. And uh, gonna be one really, really pretty uh, desktop environment when I'm done with it. Uh, this video was basically just to show that it's in the works. It's coming. It's well on its way. And, uh, yeah, anybody out there that's looking for a new 64-bit or 32-bit XFCE to play with, uh, you know, Makulu makes one of the most beautiful desktop environments always. And uh, this one will be no different, and it's getting your way soon. So uh, keep a lookout for any more videos, and the guys that have been waiting for this, Sorry I made you guys wait so long. I did move to a new country and it did kind of throw a spanner into uh, my Linux work this this year. But uh, I'm back on track and I'll be releasing a whole bunch of releases in the next few months. 
anyway, so this is coming to you soon, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to show this off. So, uh, hope you guys uh, have a Merry Christmas. I will actually try and get this out before then as a nice Christmas present, and uh, hope to chat to you guys soon. Cheers.